Raise your hands if you like old station wagons. Me. So just taking a look at this very cool 63 LeSabre wagon. It's got some upgraded headlights up front. It's here at our shop to get stripped and repainted in the factory original color, much like you see here. We're also going to replate some of the trim. You see the three Venta ports there. If it had four, it would be on the Buick Electra line, but this is a LeSabre. Some slotted, polished US mag wheels have been added, and we're gonna fix some of the other trim on the car. The owner wants the roof rack removed for a more slick top appearance. And I think there's a neat little LeSabre badge back here uh, with a sheet metal screw going right through the trim. I don't think that's original and it's gonna go. Uh, we've got the Pharaoh's Car Club sticker, which is a local St. Louis area car club, pretty cool. Again, nice, uh, pretty nice trim to start with. It's got some pits in it, so we're going to replate that stuff and make it look nice and clean. But overall, this Buick wagon is a really sharp car. There are lots of cool things to see and do inside this very cool 60s Buick wagon. Uh, the door panels have a neat embossed pattern in that tritone, you know, kind of buckskin brown and uh, saddle color scheme. Bucket seats. You never see bucket seats in a Buick wagon with a console. And this is a, a short console. If this was a GS, the shorty console by nickname is the one that goes up here with the four speed handle. And then you can have a full length console or this one, which they also call a consolette. Uh, 63, I don't know if that was even available in a wagon, but you never really know. Um, up overhead, you've got a, uh, a rigid plastic headliner. And my guess is that the original headliner was this dotted material and somebody was creative enough to put this in there. I think it's a pretty good idea, especially when you have, you know, acres of headliner to, uh, to replace. Uh, also, check out the cool vintage car seat, right? Who wants to put their kid in that today? Yeah. Not me, but uh, <laughs> still kind of fun to see. Hang on, Junior. Uh, and then also up in the front, there's a couple uh, other details that are kind of neat. You have a Rostra uh, uh, cruise control control center right here. That's the uh, switches for the cruise control. And then uh, the odometer is showing 90, almost 96,000 miles. I believe that. Um, this car has been driven a lot, which is which is cool, it's what we like. Uh, clock is not working at the moment, but uh, maybe that gets fixed. And then the, uh, the column has been converted to a tilt column. This thing is super cool. I can't wait till we get it all polished up with the new paint and ready for its first big road trip. Another neat detail on this Buick wagon, the rear window's power, you turn the key and down it goes. A giant expansive space to go uh, hang out across country and, and then you can fold this thing down for your picnic space. Look at that. Under the hood of our Buick, we are greeted with a nail head V8. So this is a Buick V8 engine, 401 cubic inches. And it, uh, uh, these things came all the way up to 425s, uh, dual quads in the Rivieras. But this one has a Phytech fuel injection unit on it. Looks like a carburetor hiding right back there. Somebody put the Cadillac style air cleaner on it with a pretty neat stripe job. Kind of subtle, but cool. Uh, and then over here we see the controls for that cruise control unit so that uh, you go down the highway nice and easy. But other than that, pretty basic, pretty clean. Um, air conditioning, factory. And uh, we're going to make sure that everything operates the way it's supposed to for miles of carefree smiles. If you dig old cars like this and you need something uh, repainted or repowered or restored, or maybe you've got an idea for a full custom hot rod rattling around in your brain, you can reach us at v8speedshop.com. We're always willing to chat with you about it and uh, maybe make your station wagon or hot rod dreams come true. Get you out on the great American highways. See you next time.